Enough talk about other stuff. We're going to play Anthology of Fear. Let's play. A special place. Meet the beginning of the first episode. Gameplay, you'll see, is only a small part of the game. The prologue is an indication of the first, the first of three episodes that will be available to play in the full version of the game. Thank you for the bizarre close-up of this character's face as a loading screen. Your name is Nathan Surin. You came to a special place that means a lot to your family. You are here to fulfill the last wish, will, of your dead brother. This is your story. It's a bit fucking scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's very scary indeed. The fuck? We're riding in the middle of nowhere with your junk. I can touch my Are junk. You not afraid that a little girl will jump on the road, we will crash, and then you will wake up in some silent city or something? Oh Maybe my god, is that a Silent Hill you? reference? Oh, shut up. Is it here? Oh, it's not far behind this hill in front of us. You could have driven closer, the car could do it. Don't complain, a little walk didn't hurt anyone. It's not even cold. It's always warm here. Yeah, I think calling this a road for such a is quite a, a loose definition here. Beautiful view. Beautiful indeed. This is the place our parents told us about. They camped in this valley. They would definitely like to come back here, if only they were alive. When I die, will you scatter my ashes here? I would like to be close to them. Sure, but aren't you too young to die? Oh, yeah, I recognize this guy's voice. This? The British guy, I, I recognize. Commemorate the moment. Oh, screw you. Huh, yeah, amazing. fuck you too, Ethan. <laughs> but for real, this place is really important to me. Can you promise me you'll do it? I promise. This was this was definitely okay. recorded with a tin can stretched out the window of somebody's okay. house. Uh, Let's go. Going into a uh, speaker at the other end. <laughs> Big shout out to our Patreon, Oliver Chatfield, for making this video happen. Thank you so much. Oliver, you supported for so many years now, I've lost count. Thank you so much for your generosity and amazing support, you wonderful human being, you. Thank you. Big shout out to our producer, Alice, for making these videos possible too. Her link's on screen right now. Thank you for helping us keep the channel ticking, Alice. You're amazing. Consider leaving a like on the video and a comment on the video. It would really help me out a ton. I'll do my best to respond to them as well. And, um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of Anthology of Horror. All right, I guess that was a flashback. One year later, we are here again. All right, drive down the valley. Oh, we get to drive? Amazing. Amazing. Let's go. No, oh, no. I wanted to crash it, bounce it down the mountain slide, shattering the atmosphere. Alright, here we go. Take the urn from the back of the car. Oh, we're here to scatter somebody's ashes? I guess we are? I turned off headboard, by the way, but when you sprint, you still vibrate quite a bit. Vibrate. Yeah, I guess the other guy that was with us died. <laughs> He's like, why is the texture not on this? <laughs> Alright. Uh, go to Ethan's memorial plaque. Yeah, so Ethan is definitely dead. We don't know how. How the fuck do I know where his memorial plaque is, by the way? I'm guessing it's not in here, but still. This is a weird sort of like fucking abandoned building, right? What the fuck is this? Oh, now we're carrying the urn again. We put the urn down as we climb the ladder. All right. Where the fuck is the memorial plot gonna be? Is that it over there? I think that might be it here. Yeah, this is it. 
Oh, this is what- it looks like the entire family's buried here. What the fuck? The Sorin- the Sorin family. In the middle of nowhere. Alright. Uh, look around the campsite. Got it. Beautiful. I don't like the running animation. What the fuck? It's like blah 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 blah. Wah, wah, wah. Check where the sound came from. It's a phone, right? No, what the fuck? Okay, that's creepy. There definitely wasn't anything here before, right? It's upstairs. Inside this. Oh. That definitely wasn't there before. Thank you for the gift subs, dead boy. Um. Okay, well, didn't expect that to happen. Hello? Hello? By the way, I can confirm if we do hit that goal for the Amnesia uh, custom. Uh, Custom Mass playthrough, Russ uh, will be joining me to talk about his creation of La Casa. I uh, spoke to him about it. Alright, why are we in the room suddenly? Why do we have a gun so- What? Did someone just- Ah! I just got shot! I just got fucking shot! Ha! Oh, oh, ha! Shit, this escalated! Go, 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 go! Did I just die? Get in the fucking car, you- I'm still getting shot, by the way. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Protect myself. Where is it? I can't move from here, by the way. It's gonna run me over, right? This is gonna run me over, right? What the fuck just happened? I guess I'm running away now. With our multiple bullet wounds. What is going on? What is going on? This went from like zero to a million. What is going on? What? Find shelter to hide yourself. Okay. Why are we suddenly in the Arctic? Just run away. Just run. Just run. Find, find shelter. I mean, there's that. Th whatever that is over there, let's head that way. I don't think it's a building, though. It just looks like a bunch of fucking telegraph wires. If I die, who will scatter my ashes? I don't know. But it's a good question. It's a good fucking question. Oh my god, it's the same asset as before. Let's go. If this is the end of the prologue, I'm going to be so, like, I'll be like, what the fuck? Alright, not yet it isn't. Of course. Knew I shouldn't have bought an iPhone. I charged that fully before I went out with the ashes. Apparently we still don't have- we don't have a gun anymore apparently. So, you know. Oh look, another identical one of these. So yeah, this is a prologue to a game that is like a horror anthology collection. But this is, won't be included in the full game. This is like a special thing that they've done. Just just to promote the, the game that's coming out eventually. Alright. Take a rest. Oh boy. There's plenty of places to lie down, I guess. Is that, is that literally just a bit of fucking plastic we're going to lie on?
What the fuck is that noise? It sounds like a very large cat purring. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, that's a fair reaction then. I was like, oh my god, what is going on? Let's go. Run away from the shelter. Okay. I guess we've decided that if we stay here, we'll get our lipstone shut or something, right? Find another way outside. The exit's gone. It's just gone. All right, we got we got to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. I'm guessing here. Nope. Or yes, maybe. There was a weird sound. I don't like this. It sounded like there's someone else in here. Find a way to break the padlock. Well, I mean, if you'd held on to your fucking gun for a fucking start, that might have been a good idea. Dickhead. I oh, got this. Alright, now let's use this on this. Flawless. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Check the lower floor. <sighs> Find the iron door key. Wonderful. Hang on. What if the twist is it's like just there? Alright, we need to find a fucking key. Oh, it was right there. By well, the way, we're not even questioning where we are. Find a way to escape. Okay. This is like an un this is like an air raid shelter sort of thing. You know what I mean? Someone's knocking on the door. Find a way to communicate. Knock on the fucking door, you idiot! Someone, someone. Okay, are they are they knocking on the pipes instead or something? Is that it? Do we have to like bang on the pipe? Find a way to communicate. Is this- there's someone else down here. Are his lips actually sunshine? I don't know. I'm guessing they must be. But I don't know. I think they are. Oh. We found a pen and paper. Alright, communicate with the stranger. Is this like fucking Saw? Has someone, like, trapped us down here? And like... You know what I mean? But... What? How? How do I communicate with the fucking stranger? Huh. Yeah, but I don't know how to act. There's, there's been no prompt to like inventory or anything. Like, I doesn't- nothing like that, that, that works. Ah. There we go. I had to put it down here. Who are you? There we go. Is it going to be Ethan? Is that going to be the twist? Is it going to write back? It's Ethan. My name is Ethan. This is actually a pretty cool idea. Why can't I pick this up? Okay. There we go. I had to look at the door instead. Uh, who are you? Help me. No, that's not what I asked. Do you speak English? Comprehendi Anglesi? Yeah, help me is a weird fucking name. Help me, please. No, listen, listen. How did you get here? Just, yeah. You, 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 they would, they would actually say something, wouldn't they? They wouldn't just be like writing gobbledygook. Like, I understand you need help, dude, but, and hear me out, actually fucking respond to me. You useless cunt. They kidnapped me. How long are you here? Who are they? Okay. That's a fair question. 
I'm guessing they are gonna come in here in a minute and we're gonna be shitting ourselves. Alright. I do not remember, they are evil people. How to get out of here? <laughs> I don't need English is our first language ever. How get out of here, do you how? Do how what? And you, tell me about yourself. No, I asked, how the fuck we get out of here, dickhead? They started shooting at me and my car broke down. I had to seek shelter. This guy's just like, I'm not going to answer any of your questions because this isn't a really a pressing, desperate situation where we need to cooperate. This is quite relaxed. They don't like noise. They sew lips when you sleep and do terrible things. I noticed... Oh, that's why we can't- I was like, why can't we talk? It's because our lips are sewn shut. <laughs> How did you get here? He's gonna send back and it'll just be a picture of, like, fucking Baby Yoda or something. That'll be it. <laughs> that'll just all be- that'll all be it is in the drawing. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Will you help me? What can I do? Do you know more about them? Well, I thought this is an interesting concept, though. I like that. He just draws a dick, and then we realize the pen's out of ink, and we're fucked. They want us to suffer. Turn off the gas on the lower room. Okay. There's gas. That started rapidly, didn't it? How did he know that the gas was... There's something not right about this. We're... Hi. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> he was waiting. The prologue is an introduction to the first of three different stories that will be available in the full version of the game. That is the end of the prologue, guys. Not a bad little teaser, I don't think. That was alright. That was alright. That's free, by the way. We'll play through the full version of that, obviously, once it is um, finally released. Is it going to be the trailer? If it's the trailer, I'll let it play out for those who missed it the other day. No, that's it. Okay, cool. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'm going to give this demo a nom on the nomometer because I think it has quite a lot of potential and I'm looking forward to trying the full game, so look forward to doing that. If you enjoyed, consider slapping a like, leave a comment please and I'll respond and I hope you have a great, fantastic, amazing, sexy, wonderful, brilliant day.